Welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, who are you? Some Jews who went around driving out evil spirits tried to invoke the name of the Lord Jesus over those who were demon-possessed. They would say, in the name of Jesus whom Paul preaches, I command you to come out. Seven sons of Sceva, a Jewish chief priest, were doing this. One day the evil spirit answered them, Jesus I know, and Paul I know about, but who are you? And the man who had the evil spirit jumped on them and overpowered them all. He gave them such a beating that they ran out of the house, naked and bleeding. Acts 19, 13 through 16. The church still has power. The Lord has not left us alone in the end times. The midnight hour has come, but the church is rising to the occasion. We're not hiding in a corner, afraid of what is going on, but the church still has the same power they had at Pentecost. As a matter of fact, the Bible says that in the last days, evil men and seducers would wax worse and worse. But it also says that where sin abounds, grace much more abounds. The church is still able to bring victory and deliverance to mankind. It is important to remember that though we have seen many spectacular deliverances, it doesn't always happen that way. Sometimes there is a simple move of God and people are delivered. Just about two weeks ago, we were getting ready for the word to be preached in church. But just through the worship, there was a move of God. We couldn't have any preaching and five backsliders returned to the Lord. It is a good thing that God has equipped us to deal with the enemy because this generation is facing the ultimate challenge. But we are looking the devil in his eyes as he asks us the question, Who are you? We each have to respond to this challenge of the devil, not as a youth group or a church, but we have to respond as individuals. We have to give an answer to the devil's question. The sons of Sceva had a reputation as vagabonds, men who had no abiding city, they would go around professing themselves to be exorcists. But having seen the move of God in Ephesus and what God used Paul to do, they too wanted to do likewise. But sadly for them, the power of God doesn't work like that. When they used the name of Jesus that Paul used, they didn't count on the devil speaking. But most assuredly, he responded, Jesus I know well. <laughs> I met him on Calvary and Paul I know. But what I want to know is, who are you or who do you think you are? Every generation must face the challenge of the devil. We must not simply be hearers of great men, but we must also become great men and women ourselves. The devil is saying, I know Watson, I know Nepal, I know Roach. But the devil is not afraid of Watson or Roach because they're not here anymore. The devil might not even be as afraid of Nepal that much because he's not in the prime of his youth. Today, the devil is saying, I know those that fast and pray. I know those that spend their time seeking Jesus. But what I want to know is, who are you? We have the examples of our forefathers. We must pray like they prayed. We must believe like they believe. We must live like they live. Or we have no right to use this awesome name that they use. Convictions are not inherited. Every single generation must have their own conviction. The devil is not afraid of the name of Jesus alone. He's afraid of those who have the right to use the name. There are many today who run the aisles, clap their hands, stomp their feet. And while all that is good, but you have to have some root in experiences. You have to realize there are some responsibilities given to us. God wants people that are faithful. God wants people that are loyal even when things aren't good. None of us are members of a church that is always on the mountain. None of us have preachers who never preach and sometimes miss the mark. There is no such church, but a loyalty lets you stick with it. When the going gets tough, when it's not so good, when we're not shouting quite as high as we used to, when there are not a lot of people at the altar, <laughs> when there's not a lot of visitors in the pew, but that is my church and I'm gonna stick with it irrespective of. The devil said, who are you? The answer is clear. I am an overcomer. I am a warrior. I'm a child of God. I am destined for the new Jerusalem. The quote of the day, do not live by somebody else's conviction. Have your own conviction. God bless you today in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated. Hey, we make a miracle. Promise keeper, light and